There's been yet another deadly dog attack, this time in the western suburbs. A Pomeranian was mauled to death yesterday in Seaton, and this afternoon a Parafield Gardens man was set upon by an American Staffordshire Terrier. What was meant to be an afternoon walk quickly turned into a vicious attack. I swung around and there it was, this black and white dog hanging on my ankle. I shook my leg and it wouldn't go off, so I gave it a swift kick with my left leg. Brian Hurd sustaining nasty cuts in the process. This dog had no collar, had no leash, so it wasn't registered and it's out in the street. The Parafield Gardens man followed the dog and confronted its owners. I think the dog should be put down because if it's happened to me, it's going to happen to a young kid. It comes just one day after a deadly attack at Seaton, during which an American Staffordshire Terrier escaped through a broken fence and mauled its neighbour's Pomeranian. He's never ever done anything bad. Sleeps next to my baby on the floor, man, like, and all of my kids has been for all of them. The distraught owner handed the dog over to authorities while the local council investigates. These attacks are just the latest in a spate of incidents over recent weeks and fellow dog owners are on guard. Especially when you've got a small dog like this one coming now. Um, yeah, just absolutely terrifying. The owner should know um, what their dog's capable of and should definitely keep them restrained. Edward Godfrey, Nine News.